Yeah, uh, in Sheriff Smith's stead today, uh, he, he's under the weather uh, this morning and couldn't be here. So, uh, sends his apologies. Chairman, board, uh, I'm going to stand before you here and just give you a very, very brief report on the, on our flood abatement program and how things are progressing. Uh, I'm happy to report that with all the rain that we've gotten over the last few days, uh, the the movement of that water through the, the areas that we've already cleaned um, far exceeds our expectations of what it was going to be. And, uh, and so we've heard from some residents this weekend and, and uh, listened to some people who've been out there quite often and, uh, and looked at it ourselves. And uh, it, it's, it's doing way a lot better than what we expected it was going to do. So um, for that, that's a happy and, and, a, and a good report that I wanted to give you. Uh, I stand before you this morning, though, um, as part of this project, um, I have to uh, sign proclamations of a local state of emergency every seven days to extend this, and I have done so on August the 22nd, um, signed a proclamation declaring a local state of emergency um, for the period of August 22nd to August 28th for the purpose of providing access to certain areas of private property and certain areas within waterways necessary to complete the Samson River Alligator Creek tree removal and flood abatement project. Um, with that, I'm asking now this morning that you uh, that you sign a resolution or that you adopt a resolution uh, from my proclamation. Mr. Chairman, can, before you get the motion, let me read the title by the resolution by title into the record. First one is a resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, confirming a proclamation of a local state of emergency in Bradford County, Florida, and providing effective date. Also heard. Second. Motion has a second. All in favor of motion by second. Thank you, sir. I have one more. I also signed a proclamation for the dates of August 29th to September 4th uh, for the purpose of providing access to certain areas of private property and certain areas within waterways necessary to complete the Samson River and the Tree Removal Flood Abatement Project. I'm asking for a, uh, you to adopt a resolution for that proclamation also. And we've got to be waiting to read that. Are you? A resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, confirming a proclamation of a local state of emergency in Bradford County, Florida, and providing an effective date. A motion. Second. A second. All in favor of motion. Aye. 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 Motion. Thank you, sir. Clerk's report. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to remind the board that uh, of our public hearings on, on our budget. Uh, the first one is September the 13th. That's on a Thursday night, and it's at 5:30 p.m. here in the boardroom. And the final hearing will be on Monday, September the 24th, at 5:30. And these dates based on the trim that we have to go by. That's the reason why we couldn't set these dates any other time. Okay. Is that all, sir? That is it. Star, 
as well as our county website. Unfortunately, we did not receive any RFPs through the um, bidding uh, uh, time frame. However, we were fortunate enough that um, Trent Patterson with um, Showcase Signs and Advertising uh, came in later that day. Uh, Ms. Whittle had reached out to him to make him aware that the county was interested in receiving an RFP for these type of services. And although he missed the deadline, he did come in later that day and provided us with a proposal of $500 to uh, provide what we had put in our scope of work. Um, he met with us and uh, we, we certainly uh, would like to recommend that the board consider approving that RFP. Uh, Mr. Sexton has no objections with the board since we received no proposals through the time frame. Um, there would not be an issue as far as accepting Mr. Uh, Patterson's uh, proposal. Um, and he's here to speak to the board if you all have any questions with regards to his proposal. Um, we have a great working relationship with Trent. Um, I think he'll do a good job. And it's significantly less than the first proposal that we received. Um, so it's just the board's pleasure, whatever you all would like to direct staff to, to receive it. I agree. I think he'll do a good job, too. So I'd like to go ahead and... Motion. Uh, motion. Uh, 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 <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Chairman, board members. This is the uh, FDOT Scott program. Road selected 227, Cairo 227 from 301 to uh, where 18 turns. This was submitted years ago for funding that it was selected put into the program. And you have in your package the agreement from the FDOT. So if, if I may, I'll just give you a, a brief description, which I've already done some of that. And, and then ask Mr. Sexton to actually read the resolution. Uh, like I say, this was put into the program several years ago as all of our this one got a FDOT under scratch cop and safety uh, programs. And uh, we'll probably run into the same thing with this one that the desk was done before we start doing the CEI. Uh, and then we've got additional services. So uh, if I may, I'll ask Mr. Sexton to read the resolution. The resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, approving execution of the small County Outreach Program Agreement with the State of Florida Department of Transportation for the widening and resurfacing of Southwest County Road 227 from Southwest County Road 18 to Southwest State Road 200, providing direction to staff and providing an effective date. In, in your packet, you may read that's 218 and some other things. I'll just ask you to ignore those. It's, it is 18, County Road 18. I'll make the motion to approve the resolution of Second. Okay. You have a motion and a second. And, and also a question. That also can. Go ahead. Is, are, are, the, uh, are most of the dump trucks done running that route now? I would say most of them are, yeah. Okay. Because um, that's it, kind of. I think that pit only closed. That, that's what I was wondering. I hadn't seen many trucks. I seen you drive in a while. Yeah. Just, there was just a few trucks uh, about a month ago. Okay. Not, not enough to get concerned about. So okay. right. I, th I think it's a safe state and say most of them. Yeah. When, when would this new truck start, Mr. Jones? We have until the end of next year, always the end of next year, to have the plans done. There. And I'm glad you mentioned that because it will require a, a good survey. You know, we've got. Uh, a bad S curve that road. I wish we could have done something about that. And the drainage along that road, not to mention the cross pipes that have been impacted by all the trucks. So the survey will take a while. But if it's we got to do it.
chairman I'd like to call Chip Ware and Fire Chief. Good morning. Uh, in 2013, Bradford purchased a fire truck from Hillsborough County, a 2000 E1 Typhoon model Class A pump. Uh, when we purchased it, it had 121,000 miles on it. We used it up until here recently, where the engine had a catastrophic failure. Specifically, the number one cylinder overheated and dropped valves on top of the piston and welded the, the valves of the piston. What's important to know about that is that the, at the time of its failure, it had 9,900 hours on it. So getting with E1 and you put a number to the hours at 45 miles per hour, that engine had 445,500 miles on it. It's a great truck. The fire body's in good, good shape. The pump's in good shape. The truck interior's in good shape. Uh, we recently uh, converted it all over to LED, which significantly helps the charging system of the truck. The truck doesn't have a lot of computers on it, and it doesn't have a depth system, the, the uh, environmental control systems for the exhaust. We have the master EBT for the city of Gainesville come over and look at uh, the truck in its dismantled state at Florida Tractor. He agrees to the repair. He, uh, he advises us to go ahead and repair the truck because we will not be able to find a truck of that quality anywhere in, in Florida. If we buy a new truck, we'll be, uh, we'll be spending this kind of money um, on considerable. Yeah. I, I would like to repair the truck. We have the money. What year? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 2000. To replace the truck, um, again, we'll be looking for a used piece of equipment. I don't think we're going to be able to find a 2000 model E1 Typhoon. E1 is, is the fire truck manufacturer in Ocala. It's relatively close, so we don't have to go far, far for parts. Um, and with the increasing newer trucks, we're getting more into the death problem and we're getting into electronics. If I might, one reason that we wanted to uh, clearly put this uh, to put this on the agenda, even if it was with the, uh, within the uh, range that we could prove, it just seemed to me that we were the board was making a lot of decisions that, that sort of went together. In other words, the fire assessment, uh, this cost, uh, Chief Ware's uh, uh, employment by the uh, temporary agency, uh, all of that is uh, is really dependent upon the, the county pursuing the, the fire business, so to speak. So that's the reason we put it on. It's, it's that you all have taken uh, the other steps so far, so uh, we, we want to put this one in the mix. It is, if we're going to stay in the fire business, I would think, Chief, you would uh, consider it a necessity. Absolutely. That's a rebuild, in frame rebuild. Like I said, and the master EBT from Gainesville came over and looked at it. We had Stuart, our EBT, looked at it. And uh, when they're done rebuilding the engine, they'll have a warranty to it. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, items D through L are presentations made by organizations uh, previously, and 
At this time, we're just asking direction from the board on if you would like to fund those budget requests that have been made. So the first item, item D, is um, a request, or rather seeking direction from the board if you desire to fund the budget request made by the Florida Department of Health in the amount of $10,000 for mental health services. They made their budget presentation on July 19th. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Uh, Item E, does the board desire to fund the budget presentation made by concerned citizens of Bradford County in the amount of $10,000? This is an increase of $634. Uh, since fiscal year 12-13, the board has contributed $9,366 to concerned citizens, and this is for operating expenses. They made their budget presentation on August 6. desire to fund a budget request for fiscal year 18-19 made by the North Florida Regional Chamber of Commerce in the amount of $12,000, $12,500 for services and promotion to small businesses and the community. Um, a budget presentation